OK, here we go. The action's taking place up there against Askew. And the very talented Taban. Taban is very good. Small guy, aggressive guy from St Helens in Lancashire. And Askew, well, semi-finalist here some years back when he gave Taylor a bit of a rattling, but lost. Any fancy here with us? Well, I'd have to go with Taban. Uh, a few years ago, Dave was a class act, a diamond act, as it happens. But this bloke, Taban, you know, he doesn't get rattled. He proved that against Dennis Ovens. You know, really played well. And he, he's got a good all-round game. He doesn't seem to have the big dips. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, first leg. Well, I think most smart money is on Taban. Who held all his act together to beat Ovens and to the sudden death leg but this lap he gives you at 10 180 so could be tight well certainly dave uh, got out the gate last night very quick got three sets up but then let it go and there's the first 180 of the match and it goes to tavern and he's set his stall out from the first three darts well, my first did the embassy in 1978, there were 26 180s in a week. We've now moved towards 310 in only day seven. I what a standard! One. Yeah, it is unbelievable. And last night, 61 180s in four matches. That is incredible darts. And, uh, this is a sport, and a very exciting sport. And it proves it with the crowd staying right to the end after watching a vintage Barnfeld against a young man. Wow, oh, here we go! Starting! Pinback Yogos! Askew average 126, 126, 747! This is sensational! 214s. Oh my goodness! Ask you! amazing! Unbelievable first leg. We keep saying we thought we'd seen it all. But these players just keep impressing us. Well, they're impressing me, Sid. And here we go again. I do not believe it, Jordi Eyes or Ross Essex Eyes. Well, I've been waiting in the wings, and we've seen what. We've seen Cinderella, we've seen the Prince. He has two spear carriers doing 60. the business. Amazing! 155 plays 112. This is sensational darts. Three 180s to Tabern, and we're only in the middle of the second leg. This is incredible. It is about 10 feet above the hockey level up in that practice room, but they could be from Jupiter. It's wow. incredible! Oh, what a start! Yes, is talking about Taylor and Barney. Let's hear about Askew and Tabin. Four 180s, and we're only halfway through the second leg. I mean, I don't know about him, the Saint. I think he's got God on his shoulder, and Diamond Dave certainly is a high class diamond here. Absolute Jamarama! Wow! 125 clears 113. Super Cali! Ballistics here at Perfleet! Oh, if this was a boxing match, Sid, I think they'd both be on the canvas by now. The punches they're throwing. Dave, you require. Dave again wants 121. He took it out in the first leg. Treble 11 again. 25 to shot, maybe. Wants the ball to go. Oh! Oh, they come out inspired! Cancel last remarks about Barney and Taylor! Ask you and Tabin on fire! Game on! Well, that is incredible. 2-1-2-1s, two, one, two, and he's 2-0 up. We see Colin Osborne take out three ton plus finishes to win his first set earlier on. As we can see the averages there. I see one. Well, they're talking about Taylor's 109 average. This will go down, but what a way to start a darts match. 120 plays, 114. Point five. What a match! Yeah, we thought this might be because it's late on in the evening. We thought it may be a little bit dull, but these guys are certainly up for it. Dave admitted last night that when he went three sets to nil up, he got a bit nervous, got a bit twitchy. 16.
Tavins hit three 180s. And uh, he's uh, another drink in his legless. It's amazing stuff! Yeah, certainly is. The ironic thing is that Dave looks like he's going to take this set. And if Tavin don't win a leg in this set, it will be incredible. Well, Adrian Lewis uh, had the best opening set with 112 average. This is every bit as good. And both averaging now around 110. Brilliant. Askew just looking to get a big score here, put some pressure on Tevin. 59. Blocks the bed there. He's got the leave, a nice little two daughter. Has the lad from St. Helens. North South Cash. 60. Yeah, Diamond Dave really got out the gate quick. You need to it's on 40 here to put some pressure on. Another one of them. One hundred forty. Alan, you require one hundred and forty-one. Just to save the set. Dear, then to take the set with one plum. Not a plum. The plum. Dave, you require eighty-one. What's trouble? Only double twelve. Wants the bullseye for a belter. Well, hit it in the last leg. A bit wider that one. Tavern now, 17. more than 17. Just to survive in this set. Be one for double eight. It's the hardest thing done. This could be the easy bit. James and it is. The third leg. Alan Tavern. Full flag. It's Alan to throw first. Game on. Wow. Well. I thought last night was brilliant. Watch the tone and cover my armchair. With sensational darts. Picking the worry left off to near rod. 39. Yep, there will be a hell of a game if they can keep this standard up. And you think that Taylor threw 109 average, and that was right across the board. There weren't many dips and highs in it. 140. Maintaining 107 average, ask you. This is creme de la milk. This is Laddie with froth. He had per fleet. 98. You know, normally, you just like to feel your way into the first set. I think that these guys have been playing for a, an hour. They've warmed up. Really warmed up here. 60. The other end of his uh, chalk is good as well. 67% checkouts. 104 average. Well, it's like trying to put a play bill up for this. You know, it's Cinderella and the 40 Thieves, that sort of thing. 64 champions on the playbill. Everybody's playing a major part here. There are no spear carriers. Well, certainly I said, I said at the top of the show, right at the beginning of the week, I thought this was the best field of players ever assembled. And I think uh, these players have proven me right. 59. Incredible darts right from the start. We've had overseas players playing brilliant. Askew on 201. Wants to just hit one treble here. Just set it up. It's always nice to get this first set under your belt. 41. I oh, even got stars in the spot here. Keep that world champ. Mr. What a galaxy. 100. Dave, you require 160. Right. For the set. Once the red bit to pressure the shot. But opponent can level it up, right? 60. Yep, that was good enough from Dave. Tavern. In actual fact, he won't be worrying too much about taking it out as long as he sets it up. He needs to just hit a treble. Yeah, he'll go for treble 18 to set it up. But two daughter for the set to ask you. Once the red bit, the lipstick, gets the lipstick. Tops for the set. On the way, it's a marker though. Has to 18. Decided to go air shot, missed. Alan, you require to 15. level all up. There is Eileen. Oh, Eileen, ask his lady. Just watching. Opponent shoot. Two 16s. Double eight. Game level game. Full play. Yep, Dave won't be happy Alan with that. Seven. There's Tebbins wife. Fifth leg. Uh, Dave to throw first. Game on. He's happy with that. Dave's now got the throw. 
16. Yes, uh, as usual, the wives loved ones uh, supporting. Helen Tabin. 48. Won't be happy with that one. Dear, big chance here with anything better than a ton. Be kicking himself a little bit. Should have tied the first set up. 16. Takes out one, two, one, two, ones, and then gets cleared out to double top and misses it. Slightly slingy action, but it's very accurate. 100. Anybody's set. Needs just a dip, a quarter of an inch. Just in the wrong way. 100. Andy. Yeah, it's certainly going to be a fast game. Both these players very quick to the hockey, very quick to release the three darts. This could be another one. 140. Beautiful weighted dart. She approves. Helen Taban. That's a belter. That's a belter. Barney was sending them laterally. This is all in the corner. Slightly pulled the dart. Good setup from Dave. Taban now needs a big score. Otherwise. Set is drifting away from him. 16. That's not good enough. Dave, you require yeah, just lost a bit of wrist work. Two slack the three darts below the bed. Belter. Trouble 19, double 12. Trouble 10 tiny. Leave a click out on two. Good thing this out, Rod. For the set. Yep. Trouble 20, trouble 19, double 18 is the shot for the 153. It's a big ask. He can't do it now. Dave's going to be coming back for a 52. Now, will he go 12 for double top, knowing he's missed double tops, or a 20 for double 16 sin? Seems to be going straight for the 20, his line seems straight. Easy bit, slightly on it now, for the set. Now, Fuller! Showing a magic start, and off amazingly, with 120 average each. Dave Askew takes set one against Tavern of St. Helens. chest there like him. I've had back here though. Even though the odd shot like this from Askew didn't do the business. He took the set. The powdery of tungsten. Even a slip. Looks exquisite when analysed Rodez. Yeah incredible uh, shot that was. Odds as you can see evens on Dave Askew and I think there may be a I few quid going down on Alan Tavern. You know, at the end of the game last night, Dave Askew kind of dulled a bit, where Alan Tavern come on strong. So on that, the old stats people will look at that and say, right, the value is on Tavern. Beautiful, beautiful release. Oh, and this begs to go in as if the two were magnetised. It's a good opportunity there for a max. Well, what do you make of that slight stutter in the last bit of the wrist? Yeah, it's not a bad release, though, Sid. He's got actually quite a good throw Forty when five. he keeps it fluent. It's just sometimes the left hand, and you can see there, really heavy release on the wrist, nearly a recoil on the wrist. And suddenly to follow it up with a slightly poppy release. Well, you might think we're daft, but uh, Shane Warren, if you look at his arm on McGrath, or those guys, it's all down to the perfectly timed release. No more, Six more to it, dots. You like that one? No wibble or anything. Perfect lateral. No twist or spin. Yep, as I would call that a perfect rainbow on that one. 100. Not like my darts, who used to face the ceiling halfway through the air. They're facing that they're actually in the ceiling at the moment, Sid. Well, Six I remember you once nearly hitting a seagull with a slip dart in Blackpool. In your pump! Twice World Match Play Champion up in Blackpool, sitting here with me, sussing the action, giving his expertise. Run out in 16. Yep, and now I'm not playing Sid. It's a pleasure to have to commentate on these people to see how the game's improved. And it's all down to the PDC, the Sky Sports. Great Thank show they all put on. Chance here to go further ahead then with these three. 60 would leave double 18, yes. 218s for Dave to step in again. Game oh, of the bed! Dave is on fire! Dave is 
second leg, it's Dave. So it's a superb shot out there from Askew. He's just got to hold it together. I don't think it's let him down this year. It is closing the game out. He's taken that one against the throw. Last night against uh, the Caveman, three sets to nil up and nearly let it back. He's got to close games out. So phrase that, just the one they're using baseball for the final pitcher. And I think you're dead right. We see some great players who just are bad, bad. Kill us out of the game. It's four sets, and you're the winner. Yep, four sets don't sound a lot. Under this pressure, these lights, and this time of night, it's like a week's work in an hour and a half. Askew just has with his third dart now and again. We see the snatch with the second dart there. It's normally with his third one. And as the game goes on, you'll see that creep in more. And that's what can kill him. Yeah, um... 100! Askew beat Mark Walsh in Sierra Canada. The different caves, the spike caves is 10 one 80s 43! As Tavern was in a gorilla down to the very last syllable of recorded dart against Ovens. 125. Here's the double first in. Yep, Ovens will be sitting at home killing himself, having darts to actually win the match. And we see that so often. The Dane against Danis Priestley. Eight darts to beat him. And now Tavern on 91. He should be going 25 or ball. 25 or ball. 16 for the bullseye. Bullseye to make it one all in this second set. Make the marker put him off. The marker was lipping over the ball. Can go further ahead with this visit. Can Diamond Div. Right, here we go. It's uh, to level up. In set Alan, you require two. 25. Fat nine usually. Double hit. Game shot in the second. Well, end. neither player have missed that double eight Alan tonight. Alan. For a left handed player, most of them are near his fingertips as he would feel. Like double ten is for a right handed player. What that means that you're going to hit it. And that was breaking the throw straight back. And with the throw, kicks off. 140. There's much more with the dart than the actual flight path. Because two to three inches higher than the line, particularly when he's thrown for the doubles. Tavern much, much flatter trajectory to the board. Great. Oh, this is sensational. Understacking. Second dart was a beaut. Yep, he's starting to get into a rhythm as Tavern. He's a heavy scorer. I've seen him play Colin Lloyd in Scotland. And Lloyd beat him. 5-3, Tavern's three legs were all 12 darters, which is incredible throwing. One hundred. Nice lad, Colin Lloyd, took his defeat well the other night. 136, Alan, you require... Here we go, then Tavern should click this out. No bother at all, 25. He's hit the ball, the wrong one. He'll be back there, oh, unless... Fancy Divi from the begin. You fancy from the begin. Well, I do now. This is the only thing we haven't had this week. It was a bit of a bad second dart. But he's set it up, Tavern now. Double four for two one. Two fours. On the wire, feather touch needed on the barrel. Still that barrel beckons, needs to, oh, too heavy head on the barrel. Well, Dave big lead off here for Askew, he'll be looking for 25. It'll give him two darts at the double top. Oh, he's gone 11. Well, he's gone a really awkward way, but tops will make it good. 25. Alan, you require... Nice to do that at college for halves, put it in the loops. Double two. 
game shot in the third leg. Yeah, I certainly felt that Dave should have gone for the 25 there. The 33 would have left him 32. Game we see Tavins double two with the throw. Dave now has got to hold the throw. Otherwise, we're going one set all, and we could be in for a late night again. 95. Tappen from St. Helens in Lancashire. Looking the crisper at the moment around that 60. 100. Yep. Dave Askew now knows he needs to get this to get this second leg. Both of them in. We'd like to see Askew. Oh, three great days. Askew now fighting away. He knows how important this set is. If he can get two sets up. One Beautiful last down. Oh, yeah, they go again. <laughs> Alan Tabern. Give it a big leg set to ringside. Good cover. I really can't remember so many 180s being hit in a tournament. I don't think the players would even hit this much in practice. It is incredible, very impressive. Dave, you require 129. Trouble line you coming in. 60. Ah! Oh, bullseye to level it up. Oh, right! Wow, Diamond Dave! Glistening on the game in here, Circus Tower! Well, he's at one, two, one, on. two, one, two, ones, and now he clicks another bullseye, and you can see what it means to Dave. Now, just 100. get this one against the throw. The Pidak here, clickety click, might have something to do with the bingo hall, but with those slots, it means check out. 59. Yeah, the only checkouts I get there nowadays, Sid, is at the supermarket. 57. Tavern favourite then to level it up. Unless Dave keeps them there. He's inspired now, Dave. 140. Wow, deciding. Leg set two. Too high. Too high. Slightly snatchy, slightly snatchy. Good recovery. Yeah, good last start, and he needed it. Askew now needing a 140 to really get control, otherwise he's only just level. That's one. Needs another one in. 100. Well, Tavern would still feel he's got the advantage in this leg. One hundred. Only a hundred. Div can get better than a ton after that slight fit. Needs the red bit now. Good shot, but... Alan, you well, two triple twenties, double 12 for Tabern. That's on 102, that's one of them. Needs another one, no. He's triple 16, sorted out. There we go then. Dave, you for two nil in sets, he can do it with his visit. Bull double 16. 62. I have to stay, say I would have stayed in the treble 20 there if I'd have been Dave. Now Tavern for 48 for level sets. 8 or 16. 16 for double 16. Game shot in the second set. Gravel Johnson to Rose Bay. Tell you it all. It's now one set alike. Plenty more legs, folks. A lot of them jigging. One apiece in a log game between Askew and Taban. What do you think of the odds there, Rod? Thank you, well, I think there'll be still some people that'll take the value Let's there on Taban. As I said earlier, Dave on. tends to wilt a little bit at the end of the game. But the old Dave Askew of 10, 12 year ago go would have uh, certainly been a match for anybody in the world, not just uh, Alan Taban. Well, about five years ago in a fantastic semi final with Taylor. Showed all his clout there. Six Tavern, eight. a great competitor from uh, St. Helens. Now 
that ever walks up there thinking anybody's reputation is going to do him. 100. Well, you see it again. Dave's third dart, just a little bit of a snatch as we go through the match. That tends to get worse. And uh, I keep saying it. Don't miss the big numbers. It really does mean that you're getting more darts than a double at the business end of a leg. The snatch uh, is uh, a sort of extra movement on the delivery stroke that pulls the dart and gives you an artificial weight to it. Uh, there's not wrong with this lad. If anything, sometimes a bit too adrenaline rush to the wrist. Wouldn't like to call this one, kid. Wouldn't like to call it. No, it's going to be a close one, Sid. Another late one. We've got the night shift. Dave, as we see it then, his third dart, just a little bit of a roll of the wrist, you know, too much movement of the wrist on the follow-through. Well, Tavern missing the treble, gives Dave a chance to uh, set this leg up. He can take it out. No, he's just looking for one treble. He needs one treble. Good do. Alan, you require 100. Always forcing, always thinking, always making the guy's task a little harder by having your score low. He wants the two treble line is handy. Double 12, he wants to go ahead. Snatch the dart, the bell snatch in at vital time. Dave, you require Yeah, he certainly threw that very quickly. Dave on 41. He went nine for double 16. It's been pretty good to him. And it is again. Eileen. Game Lenny. Game on. One hundred and four. Well, did very well with that, but that's always the problem with the middle lie in the middle of the bed. Is that if you aim straight at it, you can give yourself problems. Colin Loy problems sometimes aiming at the same dart. Well, Askew's first dart closed the bed down. Should have switched. Tavern, got plenty of room to the right. Very accurate player, this guy. Knows where the treble 20 is. Extremely high scorer. Once he's got experience on this big stage, along with McGowan and Osborne, these 60. blokes are going to be a big force. All right, Dave, bit of theory here. You're talking about get experience, heavy scorer. What's the biggest jump in knowledge you ever made in your darts career? 60. From what? From aggression? From calmness, from relaxing, what's the biggest stride you ever made? I think it was winning a major. Um, you kind of uh, jump the ladder straight away when you win a major, well, and I think all dark players would say the same. Alan, it's all a learning Alan, curve from 61. opens and then to the big stage, to the major stage. The majors well, being the world match player, the world Grand Prix, the world championship, the Las Vegas Desert Classic. Events of that magnitude. This is the biggest though! Oh, what a visit, John Luggy! To make it all Alan square, 1-1 one, one, and 1-1 one, one in legs. Double 12 for Tavern. Across the board, there. sixes. And he needs a feather tickle on the barrel. 18. Well, Dave hit a 1 with his last start. Previous 3, which would have left him a better shot. But 1-2-3, one, 1 of 57. The treble 18 for the bullseye. No. Well, Tavern's going to come back for double three. Now, double three, Sid, you don't like 39. it. You've got to go at it with the first dart because you and don't want to break it. Six. Options here, some guys go two, double two, but double three is it. And now that's one of the problems with going straight at it. Can oh, nice to go. Use the marker. Very nice indeed. Yeah, it's not the issues of doubles, but he pinned it very well. That's good now. All he's got to do is hold his throw. I see one. Very slack use of the marker darts there by Dave. Seemed to get a bit of un unnatural spin on the dart. And I'm not kidding. I've had a lot of emails about me making a science out of something simple. It's not. Hey, if you think she and one, good. Just look at what these guys do, spin-wise. Lovely cover. Unlucky there. I aimed see. at the dart that was in the bed unsuccessfully. Yep, you're right, Sid. It's no different to a golf swing. Uh, Tavern, it's uh, a bit of a kiss, but he uh, needs to really get this one. Tavern against the throw. 
matches. What you've got to do, as I said before, hold your throat or your serve. You nice penetrate the seven. other blokes. Very, very good shot to the cover there. Well, that's the one that defies everybody, even till I packed up the understacker. The actual dog that you nine. use to defy its ascent against gravity under. That's a nice marker to draw it into the 60. Still a chance on the 60. With too much spin, that was it. That was a flick. Unnecessary movement on the delivery point. Yeah, not a smooth release. It's happened now. 100. Yep. But Dave, and all he's got to do is really hit a big score, and he puts the pressure on the 103, and he's still got the leg. And he's got to hit a treble, and he's not done this. No, nope. and there you can see it. There you see the big snatch. Got a hand it to you, Rod. You said he might start doing that at the start when he was averaging 130. 43. That carelessness Dave often comes into his game. 42. Yeah, he needs a treble. Oh, it'll be treble 10 here to leave 32. He's been hitting the 32 very well. Tapping now. Going to have two darts at double top against the throw. 16. Fat 20. Skinny red bit. He's got to watch the flight. No bother. Throw the flight. Goes into the lead. Full flag. Yeah. The way Tabin's darts were in the board, you can Game see on. that the first dart didn't impede the bed. And if you get a Roland Schultz or a Dave Askew's dart, would stand up and the flight would impede the bed. 16. Reverse stacker, as you say, Sid. That's the blogger dart. Now, now he can't, he mustn't risk finger spin this one. 16. There's always that almost desperation. Some it comes through with extra movement on the release. I see three. He tends to be controlling the second and third dance better at the moment, Tavern. Yep, he's broken Dave's throat. Dave now needs to break straight back. He don't want to let someone like Tavern go a set up against the throat. He can be very dangerous. And as the pressure goes on, we'll see that snatch come in more and more. 125. Okay. I was going to say, you did say that early doors when you were averaging 140, the little lads 130. These are slack, slack darts now. It's 60. becoming a pandemic. Gone to pieces with his marker darts when the opponent in white. And that's slack, but there's only 29. one winner at the moment in the scoring. Dave's got to get a grip. Horrible pun, but he is actually there's too much movement coming in on, on the release. One hundred and four. See, that was a lot better release. You know, nice and smooth, not jerky. It's just when he gets a bit quick, especially with the last start. But Tabbitt's still got the advantage. He should be moving downstairs. That's a great third dart to pick that little corner out. To be more delicate. Oh, you came in again. His he, arms rotating Alan through 90 degrees. Gone to pieces with his adjustment shots. Ask you. Incredible. 48. Ask you now for survival. You require 124. Well, oh, he's had three ton pluses already. He wants treble 18 for the bullseye. Bullseye for a third bullseye finish. 99. Coming again to Patchy. Now to take the set. To go 2 1 up. Come on, watch. Tops. Snatchy. Double 10. 36. Well, he threw them a bit Don't quick. This is why Helen can't believe it. The girls go through it more than the blokes, that's for sure. Dave now, double eight. Now they've hit this pretty good. Yeah, and he's in the game. The well, he's in pieces with some of his scoring at times. Ask you. Game on. But twice hit the ball and he's not missing the doubles. Wow. Sucking in there. I see five. Gasping guppy. 
That invites more into the 60. The barrel's still there. 140. Brilliant use of the marker, that rod. Yep, it's taking control. Dave now, again, is throwing loose darts. 23. You can't do that. You're not going to do that. You see Dave's release. That's not too bad. It's the one that he releases a lot earlier on that that he snatches. 60. So you're much more fluent release. But there'll be the odd bit of brilliance. One I got 180. It's a bit like being a reptile watcher, isn't it? The snake will bite, the snake will hit, the snake will miss. That's what he's to say about the great Leighton Reese. Right arm like a cobra. Sneaking out to the gun of a basket. Yep, dear old Leighton, perfect, perfect smooth throw, that's for sure. Seven now. And a big score. Otherwise, Dave's going to take this set. Great last start, put a bit of pressure on the 113 for the set. 13 for tops for the set. Big shot this for Askew. On the wire. Alan, you require to go ahead, 2 1 in set sensor. Is the four sets. Treble 18. Treble 18. Leave double 16 now. Just bowled with to the wire, unlucky. Right? She got 2 1 in this favour, Askew. Once double, top the red bit. Double 10. Double 5. Bold, bold. What a let off. Tabard would have thought he's not going to have another visit. Dave is going to be kicking himself. 32. Tabard is like these or the double eights. Move across just inside that. Game and that's for the set. set. Alan Seven. Full set. First leg is Alan to throw first. Game on. Here we go then. 2 1 to Tabern. Tabern then. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, a bully shot, a bully shot, as Brissy used to say, a bully shot. Means you put that swifter idea, I've got to do more, I've got to do more. A heavy couple of legs now will swing the game to Tabern. Yeah, it certainly will. Tabern now knows he's got a big chance to take the massive advantage in this game. Just hold his throat and he's going to go three sets to one. This is what the game's all about, we keep saying it. Pressure, pressure, pressure. 45. Day seven of the World Championships winding down. 16. Hadn't, hadn't had so much fun since Divi did the co-op years ago on his little lad. Wonderful darts, particularly last night and tonight. Well over 300 maximums in the tournament. Taban to set up a nice little skippy two daughter. Yeah, I can't understand why Taban didn't go for 19. She could have hit trouble 19, 19. Just set it up nicely. Yeah. Dave Askew, again Dave Askew putting a good first start, just losing concentration, losing a little bit, a bit of the Alan grip in that second one, needs to tighten that up. Two red bits, too high. 100, Dave you require 121. Chance to do it with the three, trouble 17 and the ball. 97. Well, Tabern for 56. Take the first leg. This fourth set. And the 16 for tops. He's actually been pulling this tops normally. Ooh, gave too Just much wrist. Pulled that one. Tension coming out now. 
Dave, you require 24. Double 12, yes, James gets it. In the first leg. Could be a lot of legs left Dave in this. This could easily go into the seventh Second set. Is Dave to throw first. Game on. A lot of mistakes now, Rod. Yep, this time of night under that heat. Don't be mistakes, but they're the people. The people that keep it together. It don't matter what time. First game on in the afternoon, last game on in the evening. You've got to do it. You've got to prepare yourself right. Nice cover shot. Nice cover shot. The fight's awkward. Brilliantly through the flight. 100. Robin Hood shot that. Well, started this in Sherwood for a Super League. One well, made Marion with the lady singles. She's a bit happy now. And Tabernacle her lads ahead. Alongside the way. Fawlty one. Yep, I won't be happy with that. Again, a decent first start. And a rubbish second start. I think we're seeing a little bit of fatigue creeping in, in here, you know, concentration. And if you thought Jeffrey Boy got spoke straight, <laughs> well, here yeah, runners. Rubbish is rubbish at this. Straight now, LBWs are offside, so dives. Rubbish is rubbish. Talent should be to the double first now. Ooh, will be now. One Lovely dance. Well, Askew's got a. Put some pressure on because Tabern has not hit this double top very well. He's had a few darts at it. Now what's Seven he going to do? The way he starts lie, he's got to go straight at it. He don't want one above it. Now that normally would hide it for him. And certainly that has. Game That's a great third dart. I don't think he's going to squeeze it in there. Alan Alan. Third leg is Alan to throw first. Game Should on. be favoured because he throws in the odd legs one, three, and five, and it's about 60-40 that he's more accurate in his adjustment than Dave in the red. There's a slight error of he's popping the dart slightly. I see one. Dave Askew's got a break this throw of Tavern's. He had a chance with 1 0 up in this set against the throw and give the next leg away. And you can see Dave just lose his consistency a little bit. He needs to hit more trebles. That's it, exactly. This, this lad, when he misses, hits a more controlled miss. He looks, looks less like you, Mr. Tavern. Well, that's a good first start from Askew. He would expect to hit a treble with one of these. 16. You can see the anguish on his face there. He's very disappointed. Well, best one for me last night was fan assisted oven. The fan assisted? The fans? Tricky stuff, yeah. Right. Gotta be favourite. Now for. 3 1 because on his own throw. Taban looking good. Gonna watch the flight to the 60. 60. Only. Well, that's a big chance for Askew. He knows Taban might not take the ton out. It's not an easy shot. But Dave has got to. He'll be going downstairs. Nice. Well, he's put some pressure on. That's what he needs to do. Taban now looking for a treble 20. First dart. Tops. So you wanted two double tops is 60. Dave, you require a big eight. shot for Askew to get him back in this game. This is against the throw. Double ten against the throw. Game shot. Dave Askew. Full flag. It's Dave to throw. Well, first. he took that one against the dance. One hundred and eighty! I think 
Beer was shocked by that. It didn't fit his pattern so far. Dave takes this leg. It goes level at two feet each. Well, with the throw, you often say a straight tunnel do me. And Dave straight in there again. The tunnel do him. Again, he's just three. wandering with that third dart. Although he's well in control of this leg, you need to tighten them ones up. They're the ones that kill you. 100. Only 100 do it. So he will get shots to take us to 2-2 two, two in sets will Dave. Tabin now, realistically, is out of this set. Basically, going to have six starts from 138. To level it up. Dave, what he doesn't want to do, he doesn't want to miss big numbers. Which is he's done straight away. No, oh, that's okay. He's tidied it up. 77. 112. Nice last knot. Askew's got six dots to use if he wants here. Double 13. One hundred takes it to two sets apiece. Dave, you require 26. Five double fours the usual way. Well, this is caused by Dave miscounting the previous three darts, leaving himself 26. He needs double four. He's given Tabin an outside chance to get back in the set. Oh, this would be one in the solar plexus for Askew. Starts with a shot with trouble 19. 60 for tops. Yes. Tops. On the way. 79. For the set. To level it all up. Double four. Double two. Oh, this is awkward. The barrel could. Oh, beautiful shot. Two sets apiece. All we go, folks. Two sets apiece. Could be many more legs. First and four is the winner. Results. James Wade, 4 3 against Dave Ladley. Dennis Priestley, brilliant against Per Larson. Colin Osborne, 4 West Newton, 2. Yeah, good solid performance. Andy Jenkins beating the Pie Man 4 2. And Rowan Schultz going all the way to the last leg with Alex Roy. And a vintage Barnvelt 4 0 against the youngster Rigil Funk. And now. Tabin and Askew at two sets all and poised to be another long game. He has the way it's fallen in the draw. Barney Belt books his place in the quarter final. He will play the winner of Askew, Tabin. Yeah, and Lewis against Jenkins. Lewis having one of the better averages in the first rounds. And then Shelton against the new fella, Colin Osborne, the wizard. Sets up some real good games there. Yeah, oh, that will be sensational tomorrow. Oh, fantastic match, Taylor Mason. One in Avenga will be Manley against Darren Webster. That'll be a cracker. Yeah, Terry Jenkins against James White. That could be a real cracker. And to end it, Priestley against Hamilton. The old fella Dennis come through from the dead. There are certainly some great matches there too. Brilliant, brilliant darts, particularly in the last 48 hours when the tournament has been set a light. Yep, and we haven't finished tonight. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, fifth set. First set. do anything in this tournament and get his uh, ranking back. He's got to beat Tabin tonight. And Tabin, the newcomer, not defended anything. He needs to. Uh, Really prove himself on this big stage. 100. 
Well, if I was related to ask you, I'd be tied in a flummox in the corner. You never know when his inconsistency is going to become dominant. For ten dots, he sometimes looks as though he hasn't played before. And then suddenly whacks in maximum or 160 odd shot out. Anybody's match. St. Helens against the South. Yeah, certainly when I first met Dave, his consistency was the better part of his game. We could certainly do with a little bit of that now. Just wanders the odd dart. Uh, that costs him when it gets down to the double. As you can see there, should be switching. Tight as he'd want, but 30 in it before the throw. His turn to start snatching now. That's 100. Well, Tavern got control of this leg. I'd ask you. Well, we can. Oh, and I there you one. see that big I snatch. only require 161. Well, that shows the equivalent of Harmison hitting second slip. Yeah, good set up from Tavern. Tavaskew, not really any chance in this leg. Tavern on 24. And Dave, just giving this leg away, thinking I can't win it anyway. Back Rusty Nils. But well, this could be a 13 dot in first leg. Alan Tavern. Oh, I was going to use the cliche Grolin stature. Well, I don't do cliches. Oh, uh, really? He believes he can win now. Oh, there's some arrogance about this. And I mean in a sense of self-confidence. Yeah, that's what you've got to have in yourself. Plenty of self-confidence. It does come over as arrogance in some players. 100. But without it, it's just going to be an also ran. A hark back to Bristow's self-description the other day one of our legends. Arrogant. Irresponsible genius. That's about right. If you don't. Mm. Arrogance, you gotta have a jockey at it. Evan Salad reset it. It means supreme self confidence. And at the moment, there's only one bloke up there got it. Yeah, I'm talking about Eric when I first met him. There's a few more words that I said about him that I can't mention on air. 100. I think he's uh, upset a few people. He was great at the verbal, was Eric. Yes, if he came on one side of the stage, Bob Hope got off the other. Brissy. 60. Alan, you require 161. 161. Treble 17 for the bullseye. He wants a bullseye for a 161. 119. And Dave, hardly on the same hockey in this leg. Tavern looked like finishing this up very, very swiftly. 95. Options here, yeah, options. 11 maybe. 11 starts the shot or three. Two 16s coming in. No bother. One leg away from the set. Alan Tavern. Yeah, he's not been hitting the double top too well. There's a player to go with the option that's been good to you. Now ask you, you can see him taking huge gasps of air, getting some oxygen in the lungs, clearing the head a bit. He knows he's under big pressure now. 59. His set was the set that he threw first. And that shot turned into a bag of nails. And this is really begging to have this one over the mark. Oh, well, lovely I'm done. Faulty. Well, hey, I've seen arrogance. But this arrogance is combined with a silky smoothness. He's going for the jugular. Know that? Another cliche. But that's what I'm saying it is. 41. Yeah, you're dead right. We can see in Dave Askew's game, like there was last night, as we go into the game, his consistency drops. Well, Tabern now is getting more consistent. He's got a big turnaround in form here. Too late, too late, too late, the big treble, and only one of them. Tabern could cream this in the next six starts. I'll put him one side away from the match. Yep, it's against the throw of this set in Tavern. So he'll be thrown for the match in the next set, as long as he can tie this leg up. Dave now, he should be switching. No, there is no way you could have got that dart in there. It's a waste. 
16, trouble 17, Bull would have been the visit. Just need to leave a one little dart out or two. Yeah, dive realistically. There's only a 180 that can get him back in this leg. It's a bit of a pulled dart. Again, 16. perfect example. The first dart was low, the other two 16. hit the flight. Trouble turn for double 16. Double 16 for the set. Snatched a bit, he's got to calm down here, it's. Oh, that set. was a brilliant set and by Madrid St. Allen's. Brilliant set, 14 Donna. One a piece of first clear. First. Sometimes when a bloke plays as fast as this, he's panicking. This is the opposite. This is supreme self-confidence. It's lovely to watch, Rod. Yeah, it certainly is. When a man's on form, he's got a nice, fast, rhythm rhythmical, what am I going to say, throw there. He... Uh, it's pretty to watch. Uh, bit of a ton tire there, that's it. It's getting late. How many eyes in rhythmical? Oh, the pencil so fast it is. Where he goes then, Dave trying to save the match in the next three legs. Opponent is rampant. 140. Uh, Dave's going to need a few more of them. Going back to the great Eric Bristow, in my early days, I remember him asking me, do you hold your breath when you throw the darts? 100! And I kept thinking about it, I forgot how to throw the darts for a little while. So, it's things that get in your head, and Eric was great at the verbal. 60! More wind up than in a cuckoo clock factory, Prissy. Slightly snatchy. Well, it's, well, it, He's slightly too confident. I mean, the arm's just running away with him a little bit. Dave can't buy a consistent visit there. 55. See that spin? Alan, you require that, 160. It's almost a throw and hope shot, that. Hoping to spin it across the line. No hope of this now. I think what's happening with that dart with Dave, I think he's I'm actually... very surprised if he gets this. Dave, you require 146. Treble 18 for double 16. Well, you can only set it up. Tabin now will go three for double 16. Alan, you require 35. 16s and 8s have been good to him. The tops have not been too good. Two 16s, yes! Game shot in the first leg. He's rolling like oh, Sunday. He's lady Allen. Second leg, and he's chosen one, three, first. and five. Favourite to win then, Tabin. Yeah, big pressure on Dave now. 60. No way back. Unless he can really start get his consistency on that treble 20. Forty two. Lovely cover shot by Tavern. 96. Yeah, it's going to have been a good solid performance here from Tavern. Dave got out of the gate real quick. He thought it was going to be a vintage Dave Askew after that first 100. set. He seemed to let it drift a little bit. And Tavern has taken big advantage. Oh, clean shot. I think he's going to lie. Dobrik! He didn't even use the lie on the second shot. A lovely air shot into the 60. Two oh one, you've got a good score which he has. Fit well after that first dart, give himself a shot. One hundred and forty. That's a brilliant coordination though between his lineup and that flick. If that gets out, if that gets out of sync, tops start the saving act. Yeah, you're right, Sid. Fought your set tavern up with a great chance of two legs up in this set. 18 for the bullseye. It'll be the bullseye. 61. Dave, you require. Stop 14. this tavern surge. Tops want it. 
double ten now. Get it! Shot in the second leg. Dave Askew. Dave still got to break Tevin's throat. Third leg is Allen to throw first. All Tevin's got to do is hold his throat and he'll walk off the stage the winner. Dave has got to break him. Sixty. There's the sort of shot then. That's in the opponent. And you see, that's a doubly bad shot. I was going to say he blocked it. 100. Very clever to get it past. Yeah, he's done a lot that this evening, Dave. The first start, a good inch low. You need the first start. It's not to win the treble. You need a good range on it. Pulled the dart badly, though, with that shot you said. 59. Well, two big troubles here. And he'll go to the hill. That means he didn't want. Very confident visit. Ton makes him clear favourite for the leg. Ton's not really good enough. 100. Gets him level. Tabin now, level tons from here, should see him all right. The first world championship in Nottingham, no, they applauded tons. No, they don't. That one, there's well over 300, 180s in the tournament, and there are here now. Lovely darts now. It's back to that. Oh, Gina, that. That's pressure for you. That's what they've got to do all the time, set the shots up. Makes this 101 very hard. Given Askew a big chance to win a leg against the throw. Dave, you require 62. Trouble 10 he wants. Fat 16 and tops now. Stop the tab and charge. Tops he wants. Tops again. Well, so that's a great leg from Askew against the throw. And he's got the throw here. He's got to hold his throw to make it three sets all. Big breathing, just blowing out, getting plenty of oxygen in, and breathing out in between each dart. 100. Foscue takes it. We're into the last deciding set. Eighty. A great leg from Askew. Snack has just cost him. And Sid, when a bloke starts blowing heavy, it normally means that he's getting nervous. This is very right. hard to control yourself when you're getting too nervous. Well, I've got to give it. Is there's a rally by uh, Askew? Are we going to a deciding set, folks? Slightly snatchy. And that's a really well. The errors, the own force now. Anybody's match still. Well, it's unbelievable how this game has gone backwards and forwards. One minute we're saying one player's got the advantage and should go on and win. The turn of a coin, we're saying the other player. Askew now got big control of this set. Well, that shakes the bag. Dave they say down my finger hole. Trouble 18, double 12. Texas to the deciding set. Right then. 98. Alan, you yeah, big shot here from Tavern. We're looking for the treble 20. 17s he'll go for. Double 8 to make it 2 all. Oh, could have done with a bit more composure. Let's take it to the decided set then. After looking way, way back, Topsy wants. Topsy gets. Here we go then. Came back from the edge of the precipice. It's 3 3. And they will take a short break, these two, before, before playing out the decided set. What a. And final set. First leg is well, Sid, could we have another game that goes to the last game leg? On. It's going to be decided on this bullseye. 
Well, if it does, I will accept a pint of ginger beer shandy from you, kid. With lip smacking taste. Wow. Because it's been a brilliant day, just like yesterday. And it's just getting better here. And wouldn't 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 like to pick a winner at the moment. Because Div, who is the patchy one of the two, well, Wurzel Gummich was pretty patchy, but he could not scare Cruz. Yeah, there's a few players that could scare a few crows as well, Sid. That's for sure. Certainly the crowd all week. And the price of their ticket, what entertainment they've had. I think we'll all buy the ticket to watch this sort of entertainment. 60! Yeah, the game's come a long way since the days of Ron Church played in a tatty cardigan. The great Welsh player who went on with an old Mac and a bobble hat. <laughs> Remember the great days of the early 80s? Yeah, I remember watching them, Sid. Didn't actually play darts myself, but watched it. Found it very entertaining then. I remember the Bristol uh, Della final. I actually lost 50 quid on that game. It was a lot of money back then. I remember commentating it. If he was mine, I'd give him a switch. Never mind, make him a freeman. Keep Della with us on this team. Uh, great spotter and... Uh, oh, snares that awful snatch, Well. I don't know where that comes from. 41. Somewhere near his left ear. Yeah, that that dart can really kill Askew. He doesn't want that to drift in in this last set. It's on the wire. He'll be back now. Here we go then, double 16. To charge at the tape, Tavern of Lancashire. Double 16. Game shot in the first leg. Alan Sutherland. Yeah, that was against the throw. You see it there, going in straight in the middle of double 16, and he's got the throw. Yeah, I know we've said it before, all you want to do is hit straight times. as much use as an iceberg to the Titanic that oh, this is it you can see it here the epitome of the game his margin of error is an eighth of an inch when he misses Tavern he's not missing much Dave's missing by a quarter of an inch half an inch the odd splash of colour but the odd blob too yeah certainly Dave Alan Tabin actually let him off there, starting off with just a 60, but Dave returned it with a real bad score. And, you know, we keep saying it, but this game is all about pressure and against your op opponent, and the people that can do it the best are the best. He needs it to get back in the game, and that can get him back into this leg. Can it ever? Oh, current of opportunity for the 140 on Lucky. Nah, you'd expect him not. You'd, you wouldn't expect a follow up, would you? We both knew there would not be a de definite treble in that one. visit. He got one. Big chance then to pressurise this shot. Needs to leave a nice little two down on us. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. This is where the great players set the legs up and still can do it. Another treble 20 will set it up. One. Outside chance Dave for Tavern. Askew on 118. We're looking at a treble 20 first start. It's another wild dart, Sid. You know, not to give yourself a chance. All right, then. These two darts can take him to one leg away from the match. Alan, you require 90. I think he's got any chance of starting with a bull. What else? No, he'll go for the 20s. Treble 20, he'll go for. Oh, no, that's a silly mistake. Silly mistake. That was not the percentage shot, Sid. With you there. I suggested it as a daft shot, and you went for it. Oh, oh. Dave, you require For parody. Once the odd area. Treble, it's a good area to go to because it means you don't need the big treble. That's the, more, that's the better shot on 94 to go for the pull. 
Bull area means you don't need to trouble. Here we go then. One leg away from the match. Tabak. Look at that. Skinny red bits. Flights no bother. Double ten. Well, that's a relief for Tabak. He's now one leg away from the match. Dave Askew will be cursing himself in that leg. He hit a 22, a 180 and a 24. You can't do that on this big stage in the Labrooks Comp World Match. World Match for World Professional Championship. And again, betwixt and between, that particularly dodgy last dart, which is a flick rather than a flourish. Oh, he wants it. He wants it, the St. Helens man. 140. Here we go then. Taban probably will get at least 160 with the visits. If he gets the double at the end of this leg, he is through. Will he go for that corridor? Wow, oh, risky shot. Maybe cover would have been better. Well, I've certainly said that all match. I don't feel they cover enough. Ask you now, going down. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Two in the cover. 139. The hard way. Well, Askew can count, that's for sure. We weren't ready for that one. And now, oh, he's got a good chance now. Save the match. Dave, you require 167. Neither the trouble line, he will left the bull. 80. Oh, that's a bad leap. He really wanted something smaller. Because a 140, I would say a slightly maximum favorite. Slightly. Another one. Another one. one Superb last dog. Oh. Askew. Dave, you require a Save the match. He needs to take it out. He'll go for 20 for Bullseye to keep him in the match. Bullseye. 62. On the way up. Alan, you require 95. I reckon the best shot is the bull. Right? Sid, he's got to go for the Bullseye. Before, he didn't. He took the wrong percentage on the shot. He's got to go bull or 25. For the match. 20 for bullseye. Bullseye for the match. Bull or do. 70. Dave, you require 25. To save the match. Big nine, double eight. This has been good to both players. Yes, and it certainly is again. Saves Askew's Dave neck Askew. in this match. Fourth leg is Alan to throw first. And could Game win on. here. Oh, means it, means it, do he? Land of St. Helens, a perfect start. No one is snatch, no one is snatch. That could force an error. Has to get a big treble or he's at it. 60. Only 60. I don't think good enough. No, certainly not. Hitting the 180 with the throw, and he's in again. Yep, it looks 100. like the book has been written, Sid. Thanks to Rod Arrington for expert. I mean, expert commentary on this. But we've seen Dave very, very patchy after a brilliant start. He can now cream it out in maybe five, six darts. Tavern in the white. Beautiful. In the red bit. Still could find the red bit. 140. Yeah, a massive lead here. And I can't see Tavern giving it away. Dave now just throwing, thinking. He's probably down to all the missed and 20s that he's done in this 81. match. Cost him, but 81 for the match. For the match. Double 16 at Tavern. On the inside wire. 65. But he'll be back. He has got... He's got nine darts if he wants. Pressure, pressure, pressure coming in there. 140 with a little bit of pressure. It no double hit for Alan Tavern of St. Helens to make his wife Helen dance with delight to eight. Last quick word, Rod. Yeah, certainly the double eight has paid for both players, but Tavern coming out on top. A great performance. Dave Askew just a little bit. 
not consistent enough. Brilliant start, brilliant start, but in the end, Tavern did it! A marathon, 12 hours of dance on day seven of the World Championship. Confirmation, James Wade, Dennis Priestley, Colin Osborne, Andy Jenkins, Roland Scholten, Raymond Barnabell, and now Alan Tavern through. This is how the, uh, the draw looks. Top quarter-final, Raymond Barnabell will play Alan Tavern. Adrian Lewis, Roland Shelton also in that section of the draw. Bottom half includes Phil Taylor, Chris Mason. That match on the day eight of the tournament. This is the uh, the lineup for Thursday, and oh, what a lineup of talent we have for you. Vine and Havenga, the South African, against Darren Webster, the man who put out Bob Anderson, Roland Shelton, Colin Osborne, Adrian Lewis, Andy Jenkins. The evening session, Terry Jenkins, James Wade, Phil Taylor against Chris Mason, perhaps the match of the day, and Dennis Priestley against Andy Hamilton. So uh, Dennis Priestley's reward for uh, an incredible performance on day seven of the, uh, the tournament, a showdown with Andy Hamilton, who's been playing so, so well in this competition so far. Make sure you join us 